Hello, welcome to the Counterattack playthrough series. We are continuing with Operation Dauntless. We're going into scenario T2. T means tutorial, 2 means the second scenario, and it's called Blind Assaults. And uh, it's intended to teach assaults and recovery. Uh, the play area is essentially um, this segment of the map over to uh, just to the edge of the camera roughly. And um, I threw these inactive markers down here just to show that uh, we're not allowed to come outside this play area. Um, when I start playing, I'll just remove them though. Uh, the situation, the British um, have a battalion with some extra um, machine gun support. Then there's another battalion um, that's in an inactive state. So uh, the game allows units to be inactive and this is the first scenario that does that. So basically they can't do anything uh, until turn six. This is got a 13 turn game. Um, the Germans are set up over here, dug in, um, there's four uh, victory location markers and uh, the British need to capture three of those to win the game um, by the very end of the turn, of the turn 13 they have to have three. The Germans win if that situation doesn't happen. Um, there's some new terrain on here from the first episode um, we didn't have, uh, so there's a river and there's some bridges, um, so we'll see how that affects movement in combat. Um, also, there are strong points. So um, here's a strong point marker. You can't have a strong point and a dug-in marker, so you get one or the other. You uh, can't build strong points. So strong points are sort of like, you know, fortified building or um, just a really strong stone building um, or set of buildings. Um, also, strong point um, can be printed on the map. They have this white hexagonal outline to indicate they are, that is a strong point. Um, I think that's all the new terrain. And then, uh, let me see, are there any new units? Not not really. Uh, new unit types, I mean. Um, okay, well, let's get cracking. So I've removed those inactive markers. Uh, so the scenario uh, rules, so the um, British carrier uh, platoons um, are still dismounted, like in scenario one, uh, T1. Um, so their movement is five. Um, also, the environmental conditions, they are heavy fog. Uh, that affects a few things, um, but most importantly is line of sight. Line of sight is zero. So when we had uh, smoke in the T1, um, line of sight was one. So that allowed us to have combat with adjacent units because we can see them. Uh, with line of sight zero, you cannot even see adjacent units. So uh, you have to use a new kind of attack Instead of a combat, it's an assault. That's where, during your movement, you are moving right into the enemy location. So we'll see how that works. Um, and there's some modifiers to combat um, for the heavy fog. Uh, for example, there are no zones of, zones of control. You can't see anyone, so you can't exert your influence. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, oh, the field bonus. If uh, you know only one attacker or defender is in a field. Um, There'd normally be a shift. Well, that's no longer the case because you can't actually see them. And so let's start. It's, it's a turn one. The British are going first. Uh, reset phase, there's nothing to do. So we start with the action phase. Oh, I did misspeak. Uh, the carrier platoon's movement for this scenario uh, is six when they're dismounted. I'm not sure why it matters because uh, everything else is five or the machine guns are four, but uh, we'll see. So we're going to start moving. Um, in order to an attack. So with um, assaults though, there are some slightly different rules um, in terms of modifiers. So uh, these pioneer units with their yellow uh, combat strength. So you are gonna use combat strengths in an assault as well as when doing a combat. Um, so let's see, yellow boxed units um, have a um, favorable shift for them. So if they're on the defense, it's a favor in the defense. And just as a reminder, machine guns have doubled firepower on the defense. Okay, so uh, I think for the first attack, um, I think I want to try to get like a 16 to 1 attack. So um, these guys are going to go 1. We're mo moving right now is our action. 2. There's no zone of control because of the zero line of sight. And we're going to do an assault. So as part of movement, 3. We're moving right in. So normally, um, you would pay plus one, or to assault, you pay um, the cost of the terrain that you're entering, because you're like moving right in, um, and you would pay a plus one movement um, penalty, you know, because it's an assault. 
um, except in fog, heavy fog, you don't have to do that. Okay, so we're, let's, let's do this assault. So just like in a combat, we're going to compare uh, the odds of the combat strengths. You know, one, one distinction between assaults and combat is that um, only one hex is attacking one hex. Combat, you can have many hexes attacking one hex. So um, defenders have four defense. Attackers have uh, 16, so that's four to one. Uh, but then there's some defensive shifts, um, one for being dug in, so that goes down to three to one. And then uh, a yellow combat factor, um, or combat strength uh, for the defender um, is another one L, one left shift. So that drops us down to uh, two to one. So let's see what's going on. Okay, we got a nine, so that looks pretty good. Nine on two to one is uh, zero three, so nothing, um, no losses to the attacker, and three to the defender. So now they have to decide: are they going to uh, take any losses or retreat? So these guys are all single step, I believe. Yep, single step. These guys are single step as well. Yes. So um, rather than um, have them both die, um, we'll go ahead and retreat them three. So one, two, three. Uh, you may have noticed in the last scenario, and also in this scenario, that there are some slopes um, along the edge of some hexes. Well, it doesn't really matter for um, the first two scenarios, but maybe it'll matter in the next couple. Um, really affects line of sight, perhaps a few other things. Um, okay, so they retreated three. Is that where I want to go? Um, maybe one will... Maybe they'll, they'll go like this. Um, okay. Their dug in markers gone, and these guys, they're not advancing after combat so much as like they were just driving right in. Um, of course, they're not driving, they're walking. Uh, but yeah, technically, that is an advance after combat. So, um, all right, so they cleared the hex with no losses, so that's good. Uh, now, um, so even though they may have had some movement points left over, they're done. After assaulting, you have to stop um, after your advance. So now we have these guys back here. Um, so it looks like their total combat strength is uh, 14. Not quite as good, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to a similar location over here. So um, yeah, so they're gonna go one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's 14 to four, that's uh, three to one, same. Um, Odd shifts, that's 2L, it goes down to 3 to 2. See if I can get a good roll here. Got a 7, that's 0, 1. So again, no attacker losses and uh, one defender loss. Um, hmm. I'm inclined to retreat across the river. Um, that was 1. And I should be marking these, I guess. Oops, um, with retreated markers. It's not going to matter for this scenario, but good, good habit to have, I think. Also, um, you know, I should be ro rotating these British uh, just to keep track of who's done an action during the action phase. But um, there's so few units, I'm just not going to bother. Um, okay, so dug in markers gone. These guys have to advance. I um, mean, combat, it's your option to advance. And in assault, you have to because you're moving right into the hex. Now, uh, what's interesting is the rules say, um, regardless of whether the assault cleared the target hex or not, the attackers are still eligible to attack adjacent enemy units during the combat phase. And uh, we just finished moving all our units. So um, we are in the combat phase. Um, so if there wasn't heavy fog, um, that'd be pretty powerful. You do some assaults and then you can continue attacking with combats. Um, but line of sight zero, no combats. So uh, that's too bad because we, we could just steamroll these guys. Now for the German um, portion of the turn. Reset phase, um, nothing really to do. Um, action phase, okay, so I need to figure out how to hold these guys off. Uh, this guy is going to dig in. Okay, and then I need someone there. Um, this is not looking too good. So I think I'm going to send 
this spittoon up here to hold this dug in marker. And then this engineer, um, hmm. You know, this isn't really useful to me, actually. I'll just leave it like this. So uh, he's going to come over here. And this engineer is going to come over here. I was thinking I put an engineer here, but I forgot I had this other engineer um, because they give a, the yellow box gives combat shifts. And then next turn, uh, he can try to dig in if he's still alive. Uh, that's all I got. Um, now, just pointing out, like, I could, uh, I could send these guys, like, up here to do an attack. It would be silly, but... Um, the rules for inactive units, if, uh, if I don't recall the exact rule, but basically if they're threatened, they will go active um, before their time. So uh, I don't want to do that. So that's the end of the first turn. Second turn, British reset phase, nothing to reset. Action phase, okay, we're going to keep pressing here. Um, well, I think I want to, oh man. Yeah. Seems tough for the Germans. Hmm. You know what? Let me let me think about something that I should have done on the Germans' turn. Uh, there's some um, uh, reduced um, companies. They should have tried to recover. So I'm going to see if I can try to um, recover those guys. Recover, you have to roll at least six. And the pertinent modifiers for here is... Germans get a minus one. That's the only modifier I can see that is applicable. Um, he is in um, looks like heavy blockage. So minus one, you have to roll six or higher. So uh, it is impossible for him to recover. Okay, but this guy, it is possible because you can get a plus one for being in a village or strong point. Um, so the, I have to roll a six. The minus one and plus one cancel each other out basically and I need a six. Oh man, and I got it. That is going to ruin <laughs> the British here because he's gone from a three strength to a five. I mean, that's that's pretty strong for the scenario, it seems like. Okay, so anyway, back to the British turn. Um, I think I want these guys to assault across the river to that, that guy since he's um, by himself. So let's see, this is a 14 attack against two. It's seven to one. Um, one left shift for being dug in, one left shift for being a pioneer unit with the yellow box. One more shift because the defending hex is across a waterway. So uh, these waterways are, I saw pictures of them in the rules, They're, they appear to be pretty small but they're still an obstacle. You know, there's something like soldiers can get across on foot. But um, yeah, so that was uh, three shifts, seven to one, three shifts, so four to one, I like it. Ooh, roll a 10, that's gonna be devastating. Um, 10 is four um, losses to the defender. Um, his max retreat value is three, so he is destroyed. Okay, that's lost. Now, question is, do I want these guys to advance? They're gonna be sort of behind enemy lines, hard for them to recover if they need to, but he's doing good. I'm gonna just steamroll right into here. And we're next to one of the objectives, um, which is why I wanna get in there. Okay, so they've finished their action phase, and now for these guys. Um, well, these guys are not dug in, so I might as well attack them. Uh, that's 16 to 4 again, 4 to 1. River, yellow box. Um, so that drops us down to 2 to 1. Roll to 5, 5 on the 2 to 1. It's 1 1. Uh, the attacker in an assault must take the first two losses that they have, there's only one here, um, as step reductions. So we'll go ahead and uh, reduce um, one of these companies. And then these guys take a loss. Do I want to take a step reduction or retreat? Well, there's 13 turns. Hmm. Yeah, there's 13 turns, so I am inclined to retreat. I mean, there's, on, there's only, we're on, we're on the second turn of 13. So they, they they just have to retreat one. So they'll fall back here. I am letting those guys cross the river though. Um, so they have, if, if the hex is vacated, they must advance because it's an assault. 
Okay, that's the British turn. Now for the Germans, they're in trouble. Um, for starters, I think this guy is going to... Uh, we just went through the reset phase, now we're in the action phase. He is going to dig in. Okay. This machine gun here is very weak. Uh, it's a one, it isn't a strong point. Um, I would like to reinforce it. I'm inclined to... Hmm. I really feel like I can't defend everything. These guys up here, they're not helping me at all. There's no zones of control though, so they, they can scoot out of there. So they're gonna go one, um, two, three. Now I'm pretty sure um, by crossing the bridge they're okay. I'll double check that. Uh, in other words, I didn't have to pay extra to cross that river. But even if I did, I had enough movement points to get there. Okay, so they manned that strong point. Stug and markers are gone. Go ahead and do this to remember. Um, and then he can't try to recover. But next turn he could, because he's in a strong point. Um, these guys. Is there any point in me holding that location with guys on the other side of the river? I think the answer is no. So w I should put a yellow up here in this strong point. Oops. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to take. And then uh, this guy might as well come. Hmm. One, two, pile into this strong point. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is a strong point. I couldn't even dig in, so. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's just a victory location. Never mind. They dug in. Uh, I don't like that being so weak. Maybe I should uh, instead. I think I'm gonna move this guy out and just leave it leave it weak. I'll just sort of concede this location for the moment and have this guy come down here to this strong point. I'm just gonna kind of pile him on there. So anything else I want to do here? Lost this dug in marker. I'm not gonna try to attack. So that's it. And uh, that's the end of the German player portion of the turn. So. Um, we're now on turn three. British reset phase, nothing to do. Um, action phase. Okay, we have a wounded British unit here. I think I'm gonna try um, pulling him out to recover. I, th I feel like this stack here is gonna have a hard time trying to attack that. Hmm. Yeah, so I think he's gonna go one, two, three, four, to get into this village location. Um, looking at the recovery table, let's see, if, I, if the unit's four or more hexes from all enemies, so one, two, three, four, yep, uh, he'll get a bonus. This will be happening next turn. And uh, so he's gonna go back there to recover. And then I think I'm gonna, hmm, so I just realized like, I can't actually pick up and drop off units as I'm assaulting, so I'm trying to decide what the best course of action here is. Um, I think I'm going to have this guy come down here and join this crew. And then this group here, that's a 10 attack. This might be a little silly. Let's see, that'd be 12 versus 10. Never mind. We'll just, we're going to do a, a t we're going to have these guys move in. They're going to assault. That's 9, 10, 11, 12, moving in here. Um, so 12 to 2 is 6 to 1. Dug in, 5 to 1. Roll to 6. 6 on 5 to 1. Three retreat, or three losses. This guy can take them all. One, two, three is retreat. Um, I don't really like him running off that way. Um, by the way, the British can't enter hex row 14, which is like these, or anywhere back there, 
but uh, there's no restriction on the Germans. Um, yeah, so the British are advancing. Take that location. Uh, if I just taken one of the losses of the on the engineer, um, which yeah they are uh, single step units. If if they took one of the losses, um, they'd still have to retreat too, and they'd be dead anyway. So there was no point in sacrificing them. Okay, these guys. So they're currently at um, fourteen. The defense here, let's see, this is 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 8, 9, so 12 to 9. I don't like that. So instead, I think um, what I'm going to do is have one of these guys come down here and join in with this crew here. So they're sort of forming up for an assault next turn. And then I think I want the rest of these guys to go back with this wounded guy so that they'll all be in a stack together. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can do it. So they'll all be in a stack together for next turn. I don't know if that's a good thing to do or not. Um, I will soon find out. Yeah, in fact, especially if I want him to recover. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's not so hot. Maybe. Maybe they'll just move through here. I don't know. Okay, that's the British portion of the turn. Uh, German portion. These guys are not happy. Let me reset these guys. So, for one, this German is going to try to recover here. So he's in a strong point, that's plus one, uh, minus one for being German, so he needs to roll a six. Got a two. Okay. I don't think the Germans want to attack because they'd have to be assaulting. Um, so, you know, this scenario is just teaching assault, so it might seem pretty static. Um, does to me anyway, but, uh, you know, it's teaching, teaching the rules, really. It's not intended as a historical scenario. Um, so now this guy back here, probably should put him back in the fight. Um, so we've got three units here, three there. I think this is a weaker spot, so we'll just try to go join them here. One, two, three, four. Okay, now they're at max stacking. Now I think the determined strategy for this is just to like sit there and be hammered on. So um, I guess I'm going to call that the German turn. So that's um, end of turn three. Turn four, British. This guy's gonna try to recover. Uh, modifiers, he's in a village, plus one. He's four more hexes from enemy units, plus one. Not adjacent to an enemy unit, nor does he have line of sight to, to one. So that's another plus one. Um, that's it, so plus three. I need to roll a six, roll a Two, two plus three is five, so it didn't make it. Hmm. Okay. What are we doing down here? Need to do some attacks here. So what's the weakest location? So this is a strong point, this is a strong point, this is dug in. This has four, five, six, seven, eight defense. So it'd be like a two to one with additional shifts required. This is a uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna assault this guy. Just gonna move right in. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be bloody. 16 to, um, what did I say, eight? So that's two to one. Um, it looks like it's light bocage. Uh, strong point gives two left shifts. Plus there's a left shift for the yellow. So that's three left shifts, two to one, that goes to Three to two, one to one, two to three. Ooh. Uh, that looks like about a 50-50 chance of inflicting at least one loss, and the attacker's gonna take, could take a lot. Gonna do it though. Okay, rolled an eight. Um, 
That's one, one. One attacker loss, one defender loss. So we'll go ahead and take the attacker loss. Now, um, I, am attack I am assaulting from a victory location, which I should have flipped over to the British. Um, which means if these guys retreat, I would be leaving the victory location. But uh, they took one loss. And uh, I believe I remember something about a strong point in losses. Let me check that out. So leg units, which all these guys are, could ignore the first loss. Um, so that was basically the British hammering against that location and failing. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to just rotate these guys around over to here. This is going to be very difficult. Um, yeah, the sex has nine, the sex has nine, this guy has eight, so that's the hex to attack. But it's a strong point, so maybe I should be attacking this hex next. Try to knock them down, but I'm still going to have to deal with these strong hexes here. So, I don't know, this seems very difficult for the British once the Germans sort of all pile in together. German turn. Um, this guy's going to try to recover, minus one being German, plus one, strong point, plus one, he is not adjacent to an enemy unit, nor does an enemy unit have line of sight to it, so that's plus, plus two. Roll to four, oh man. So yeah, now that location is um, seven, plus two is nine, plus two again for doubling machine gun is eleven, so that, that thing's not fallen. Um, I could even pull someone out of there probably and bring them down here. Okay, that's all the Germans are going to do. So uh, that ends turn four. Okay, turn five, British reset phase. Um, done, action phase. This guy's going to try to recover. Um, if I recall, it was plus three. Roll to four, that works. Um, let's see, why is it plus three? I'm in a village, I'm four hexes away from enemy units. No units adjacent to me and they can't see me. So um, yeah, four plus three, he recovers. Okay, that's good. Um, man. Well, I guess uh, I'm going to do another assault. It's not going to actually work. Um, I'm assuming it's not going to work, but that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 against 8. So. Um, that's not two to one, that is three to two. And then there are three left shifts that goes down to one to two. You know what, there's no, there's, there's no point in attacking this. So I need to figure out something different. Um, I think what I'm gonna do instead, here, we're gonna pull this guy out. One, two, three, four, five. Gonna go try to recover back there, uh, back there. And then, um, I guess I want to bolster the defenses of um, this location and hmm, maybe rotate some guys around to assault this location, at least try to get a second one. And uh, these guys are going to go active. Uh, these guys, they're going to go active next turn so they can help out. Might be able to get a decent attack in. So um, I think, yeah, these guys will just swing around here. They'll bring their machine gun with them. And then this guy will come in over here. Um, and then these two machine guns will go here. So is that good enough defense there? So that's uh, six defense doubled to 12. Yeah, uh, Germans are not gonna attack that. Um, okay. Uh, that's the British turn. German turn. Well, I think these guys are going to sneak down here. Come on in. Join their buddies. That's the German turn. End of turn five. Uh, British reset phase, then um, British action phase. Uh, these guys are no longer inactive, um, so I just removed their inactive markers. Really don't know what to do here. I'm going to be wasting some, some of the turn, I think, just maneuvering. Um, I think I'm going to move these guys forward. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, across the, across the bridge. 
Um, and let's see, this guy, he's going to try to recover. That's a plus three. Got a two, so nope. And then um, so what I'm trying to do is I think I'm going to move this carrier unit over. One, two, three. And so that that is 18 against nine will be two to one next turn. Then it's going to shift. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. So that means I'm weakening this location here substantially. So this guy, hmm. I guess this guy's going to go one, two, three. Oh, let me use that bridge. One, two, three, four, five. Join the machine guns. And then I guess I'll pull a machine gun out. One, two, three, four. Just try to keep that sort of strong there. <clears throat> and then um, we have a few more guys back here. So I'll get them up there to sort of rotate out um, damage units. So we'll just move them as a stack here. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's what I want. Very disappointing. Uh, that's the British. By the way, I did look up bridges. Um, when you're moving across them, you just treat them like a road, so uh, you can ignore the stream. Um, but assaulting across, you don't use them for the assault, so you have to pay the stream cost when assaulting. The Germans, I think they're just gonna hang in there. Uh, by the way, I missed one victory condition. Um, the British cannot lose um, a unit. Um, let me see here. They can lose no more than one unit. So um, pulling out wounded units, making sure they're not just all by themselves, um, is probably a good thing. I guess these Germans could make like a raid to do, go try to kill it. it. Doesn't seem very realistic, but um, yeah. So that's the German turn. Any digging in they can be, be doing? No. So uh, that is the end of turn six. Okay, uh, turn seven, uh, British, uh, reset. Um, nothing really to do. Action phase, uh, this guy is gonna try to recover. He's in a village. So, um, let's see. So we're gonna, we need to roll six or more to recover. And uh, if you're in a village, plus one. If you're four or more hexes from all enemies, one, two, three, four, plus one. Um, if I'm not adjacent to an enemy unit, and I, enemy unit doesn't have line of sight to me, which is true. Sight, line of sight's zero, or distance is zero. That's a plus three. And it, it's not out of supplies, not a night turn, not a bridge carrier platoon, so on. So I get a plus three. Got one, so he has not recovered. <laughs> okay, so uh, continuing with the action phase, I think we're gonna move these guys in here for an assault. Um, I'm, Ignoring terrain costs and everything, because uh, almost all terrain costs are just one. And since it's uh, heavy fog, I don't have to pay the extra cost for the assault. So um, what do we got here? We have uh, 18 against 5 plus 2 times 2 is 4. So uh, 18 to 9, that's 2 to 1. Uh, combat odds shifts. Well, um, I actually have a question. I'm just going to have to make a decision on here. So, um, here, I'll just show it. So, um, the so defender's in close terrain. Uh, one left shift. Okay, makes sense. It's in close terrain. And then defender's in a strong point. It is. Uh, yes. Um, two left shifts, but not cumulative with index terrain modifiers. So, to me, that means I think I should ignore the close terrain modifier. So the strong point just sort of trumps close terrain. That's what I'm going to say. Um, so Mark, if you're watching, um, I could use a little clarification just to make sure I'm doing it right. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, so that's going to be a two left shift. I think I did that correctly. Okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm looking at the one to one column. There's a three to two in between the two to one and the one to one. So I shifted down two. I rolled a nine. That is a one slash two. So the British have to take a loss. For, um, there we go. There's the one. And then two. So because they're in a strong point, the Germans, they can ignore one infantry loss. Okay, so now it's just down to one loss. 
and then they can take that as a retreat or a step loss. Um, it's turn seven, there's 13 turns total. The British have to take um, three strong points, if I recall correctly. So uh, maybe I will just keep holding that strong point. I don't think I'll ever get it back if I retreat. So we're gonna have head flip this. Um, Cause we still have a decent strength there. Okay, so now this attack is over and they can't move again. Um, I'm not gonna rotate it. Okay, and then what else do I wanna do here? Well, I'm not too happy with this situation here. What do we got? We have five plus four is nine, 10, 11, two left shifts plus the engineer left shift. So um, it's, a, it's gonna be a pretty poor combat uh, odds. So maybe I wanna wait for these guys over here to reform and take two turns though to reform, like come over here, form up to attack but after they've cleared that area out. So maybe maybe I'll shift everybody over there, try to clear that area out again. Um, yeah, that's what I'll do. So these guys, uh, movements four. One, two, hmm, hmm. Oh, I can ignore zone of control, so I don't have to do this wide loop because it's fog. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I'm good there. Ah, I'm out of movement though, aren't I? Gosh darn it. I need one more movement point to be able to do an assault. Hmm. Well, maybe I should just do some bloody attacks here. So there's no strong point here, which means um, every hit will do something. It's a one-to-one -one attack. Um, shifted down three. Again, it's dug in, close terrain, engineer. Um, so that's on the one to three column, and if I'm computing the odds roughly, it looks like it's a little under a one in three chance of inflicting one loss. <laughs> and there's a pretty good chance of taking lots of losses. But uh, I don't see any way to win this if you don't just like risk sacrificing your entire force. It just seems too tough. Um, so here we go. Okay, didn't get too low of a roll. Um, a seven on the one to three column. Unfortunately, that's two losses for the attacker. We'll take them as infantry losses so we can keep our machine guns around. And uh, um, I can't use retreats, which I would like to, because their first two losses in an assault have to. Um, they have to uh, come, come as step losses. Anything else I want to do here? Maybe we'll move uh, this guy over here. That's what I want. So now, like, next turn, I'm probably not going to be able to do a good attack unless I want to risk, like, this wounded guy in an, an attack again here. Maybe I'll do that, pull some guys back next turn. So that's that's the British turn. In fact, I think these guys are going to pull out a little back to here just to protect them. Germans, they are just going to sit tight. Um, these guys are adjacent to enemies, and I think looking at the uh, recovery table, I don't think it's possible for them to actually recover. Um, could pull them back, but I don't want to. So I think the Germans are just going to sit tight and just take this constant attack. Um, you know, this is a learning scenario for assault, so you're not really learning much as the Germans. Um, so that's the end of turn seven. Turn eight, we will uh, reset. And then, um, let's see, this guy is going to try to recover. That was a plus three. Okay, got a four plus three is seven, so he does recover. Okay, and then... Um, pull these guys out. They're going to go one, two, and before I pull them out, let's get this guy out of here. Um, <laughs> I'll move him back. So I guess I want to stage some units for another assault maybe. I don't know. Just need them near the front line. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I made room for one of these guys to go into that village. One, two, three. He'll come way back here. Four. One, two, three, four. They're going into the villages to recover. Uh, maybe these machine guns will just slide over here. And we're gonna go for another assault up here. Um, let's see, what's the situation here? We got five plus seven, 17 to seven. That's 
two to one. The shift down is two. So getting another pioneer would in there would be nice, but shift down is two, so two to one. Going down to two is one to one. Poor roll, I rolled a four. It's two attacker losses. Ah, uh, well that is not good. That is not good. Um, okay, well we'll take one from this infantry unit here. And I can either kill one of these guys. Um, I'll have to review the victory conditions, but I don't think um, I will lose if I lose one guy. The British player has no more than one eliminated, uh, is the rule. Um, so he cannot win if he loses two. Um, I just don't want one of these guys, which are pretty strong, to be reduced down to a three. I'm just going to eliminate him. Might be silly, but he's eliminated. Um, okay. What else do I want to do here? Well, I can't move those guys at all. I guess I guess that's the British turn. That was that was pretty quick. German turn. What do they want to do? Um, hmm. I think they're just gonna hold tight. Turn nine. Um, recover. Oop, that was two dice. Let's do one die. Plus three. Okay, got a six. Or three plus three is six. He rolled a three. Uh, this guy. That is a natural six. Okay, um, they are spent by recovering. Um, let's pull this guy out. He's crossing the bridge. One, two, three, four. And actually, uh, We'll just re rearrange the order of things here. This guy would move out first. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just getting ready for another assault over here. But I'm not going to do one. Um, this guy will hop in with those guys. Um, these machine guns um, cross the bridge. One, two, just join these guys. And this machine gun, he'll fall back to... Come back and just protect these guys on the long shot that the Germans want to come out and try to kill some things. Okay, German turn. They are not doing anything again. Now we're on turn 10. No way we're going to win this, but as the British. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to try to recover this guy. Um, plus three. Got a five. So plus three is eight. Recover, but spent. Um... This area here, we want to do an assault. It's been a movement point to get in there. It, it We're coming in at 18 to 7. That is, at best, 2 to 1. Reduced down to 1 to 1. Ah, world of 11. Uh, that's a 0, 3. Okay, so now um, all the units in the strong point are infantry. So they can re ignore one of those, so that's zero two. But now they have to take two losses. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take one loss here. And let's see, these guys are single step units. So I took a loss for that infantry, and then this guy's gonna retreat one hex, because that's how many losses are remaining. And, you know, actually this might be a bad choice of mine. I was thinking I would retreat him, and on the German turn he'd like try to scoot around and reinforce the position, but... Um, well, either way, that, that spot's taken, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so this has gone British. All these guys move in. So we have two, as for the British, we have two out of three victory locations. Uh, the other one being right in here. Okay, so next. Do I want to do an assault down here? I think this is the easier of the two here. Well, let's see. This is, again, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11. Two shifts. Um, three shifts. That's three shifts, 11 defense. This is eight defense three shifts. So they're both three shifts. So this is the weaker spot. Um, 
Okay, so I guess I'm just trying to decide, do I want to attack now? These guys will get weak. Or do I want to, like, use these guys, or these, you know, use someone to go try to kill that guy before he can come over and help. And I'm thinking maybe I don't care about him. Let's move this guy, these guys. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I, I can't leave this position and risk losing it. Um, I'm gonna say wait till next turn for to attack with them. So that's the German turn or British turn. Oop, I forgot to move this guy, so he'll move down to one, two, three. Hmm, do I want him by himself? No, I don't. So he's gonna just hang, move down with this guy. Okay, that was the British turn. Germans. Um, okay, so this guy can get out of dodge. One, two, three. And these guys are max stacking over here. So maybe he'll just go there. And that just makes it a little harder for the British to mass. Not really. Hmm. Okay, well, he'll just hang there. Um, all right. We're on turn 11. Okay, so these guys back here. Moving as a stack. One, two, down to here. And then I'm going to spend a third movement point to assault into there. So that's 18 to, two, 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 to 8. Three left shifts, two for the strong point, one for the pioneer. So 18 to 8. Uh, two to 1, three left shifts. We're on the 2 to 3 column. Is that right? Yes. Oh man, rolled a 3. Three attacker losses. Well, I guess we're gonna take two. And then retreat. Can I retreat across a river? I'm guessing no with armor. Oh no, those are dismounted infantry anyway, so I think I can retreat. Um, we could check that out. Yeah, they can retreat across a waterway, provided they are able to cross a waterway normally without a bridge, and um, they follow all of the retreat rules, so they retreat. Um, you know, might as well just assault now, like with guys that are not that strong. So this is um, sixteen or no, fourteen to eight. I'm calling that three to two. Um, that's going to be a three left shifts down to one to two. So we're getting down to like really poor attacks here. Roll to six. That's two attacker losses. Unfortunately. Okay, so they're just going to hang there. Those guys are done. I need to reinforce a place over here. So maybe these guys will come back here. So this machine gun doesn't sneak back around. These guys are moving in. One, two, three, four across the bridge. Um, yes. German turn. What do the germs want to do? Well, I guess uh, this guy can move through here and just be a blocker. That's turn 11. All right, we're on turn 12. Penultimate turn. No way this is going to be one. I um, guess we'll try to get one more big attack in. Um, there's no way to get concentric attacks on these guys because I'm, I'm on these guys because I'm not allowed to go here. So uh, current situation can't get any better bonuses. Um, hmm. Guess these guys are gonna slide through here. These wounded guys will go back to here. I know I'm overstacking, but uh, just the order of things, I can rearrange the order so that everyone can be happy here. Um, see, sorry, that is just reinforcing back there. Um, let's see, one of these guys will come down here. We'll shift out a wounded guy. Hmm, no, we'll just keep him there. I, I forgot the Germans could win for sure. They're gonna win for sure anyway. Uh, by killing a wounded British unit. So it won't allow that to happen. So all I did was get ready for one more decent assault next turn. This guy, he's all on his own. He's just gonna run away. One, two, three, four. Uh, he ran back to there. Okay, Germans. 
Uh, they're not doing anything. Okay, last turn. Doing a 18 to 8 assault. That's 2 to 1. Shift down 3 shifts. Best case scenario is I roll a 12, which after ignoring a loss, the Germans would have two losses, uh, which they can totally absorb. So then this, maybe there's a slight chance these guys could inflict one loss. Yeah, I think it's impossible to win. Maybe those guys can come over here. <laughs> Hard to say. So we'll just go ahead and do this. So roll, whoa, whoa, roll the 12. Um, okay, so 12 on 2 to 3 is 0 to 3. So we take 0 losses from these guys. Germans take 3 losses, reduced to 2 because of the strong point. Um, they are not going to retreat. I don't think. Let's see, these guys are single steppers. Yes. Oh, okay, that strong point actually might fall. Whoa. I had given up hope. All right, so we're only taking two losses, though. So maybe it's not, not as good as I thought. But, um, so I guess I, I like the engineer staying because he gives the, two sh two, uh, the one shift left. So we'll, we'll kill one of these guys. Now we're down to one loss. That's worth two. That's worth two. Eh, we'll get rid of this since this guy uh, is faster. Doesn't matter. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so that was a successful assault there. Now this assault. That is 12. <laughs> I really lo risk losing everything here. Um, take too many losses here. I think I, I think the Germans will still have a chance to counterattack, so they might be able to get it back if, if I take this. Um, so we're going for a 12 against four. That's a three to one, but three left shifts. So that takes us down to one to one. Goes two to one, three to two, one to one, yep. Roll a 10. Oh, I needed these high rolls. So that's two losses to the defender, not none to the attacker. It's reduced to one loss. So they'll just kill this guy. Okay, so there is a slight chance of taking it normally, because I would have a three to two attack coming in with these guys, but by putting this machine gun here, I blocked access to the hex. So uh, Germans win, maybe. maybe. Maybe there's one more chance. There is one more chance. This guy over here. Can he get down to here to attack? One, two, three, four. No. Oh, he has movement of five. So it's plus one to cross the river. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a two to one attack. Um, I'm sure there's a shift for the river. Yes, it's a waterway. So that's um, one left shift. I think that's the only, oh no, no, it's not two to one. This, this guy's doubled on the defense. So it's one to one with a single left shift. So it's a two to three. So I just need to knock that guy out of the way. Got a five on two to three, two attacker step losses. British just lost the game. I had to do it though. Um, they would have lost anyway. Uh, Germans win. Okay, so that's the end of the second tutorial. I like having these tutorials. Now this one, um, I did not feel was too fun. It was just sort of hammering away and hoping I get a good die roll. So, but uh, I think the goal was achieved of sort of getting a feel for assaults and also like how to maneuver your troops to make way for assaults and to go get them recovered. Not to mention sort of piecing together tough defenses by mixing the various units of the Germans. So. Um, Good tutorial and uh, look forward to the next one. Catch you on the next installment.